TikTok's fault, as per usual. Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't wanna feel like I'm settling. Double texting you. Listen, see you got ritualistic. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now, cause I'm falling apart. Between us just like big offenses You got issues that I will mention for now Cause we're falling apart Happy Monday. Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Morgan. If you are new here, hi. <laughs> if you're not new here, hey boo, welcome back. Um, this, it's Monday. It's actually Valentine's Day. By the time you guys are seeing this, happy late Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, but I'm actually, I told myself that I wanted to um, jump rope for 10 minutes like every other day. I can handle that, right? Mm -hmm. I, can, I think I can do it. <laughs> I, um, I was talking to a friend of mine on Instagram and she was saying like how much her working out and eating better, just how much she just feels better. And she was putting up pictures of like the before and after and like her progress, the progress she's made. And she was saying she started with jumping rope. So I was like, you know what? I have a little back padded, a little back area that I'm just gonna go there and I'm just gonna take 10 minutes and jump some rope. So, um, I'm going to give this a go. I'm hoping to be consistent. I do have a gym membership, but, um, so <laughs> we're starting with the jump rope. Let's do that. So by the time you guys see me again, I'll be making dinner. I do want to make something tonight. Um, I was thinking spaghetti, but then I saw this TikTok. Well, I saw this video on Instagram and they made like shrimp lettuce wraps and it just looked real good. But I... I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make something though. So by the time you guys see me again, I'll be cooking. So be back. So ciao. When I say jump rope kicked my behind, <laughs> I couldn't even do 10 minutes because I was just, my heart was like, <gasps> I was being dramatic, but I was like, okay, maybe since this is the first time I'm doing it, like, or I'm gonna try to like build basically. Um, but I was really like, my chest was like really tight. I was like, all right, let me relax. Um, but it was good. It felt good. I can't wait to kind of go back and get consistent with it. Um, literally just a couple minutes out of my day. Like, it doesn't seem that hard. But, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna test myself, you know. So, I did decide to make spaghetti. I am actually making it with... Oh. I'm making it with this plant-based ground beef. Which, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but you just literally put it into the sauce and spaghetti. Boom. Um, I am gonna make some broccoli... Um, and I am doing a TikTok, so <laughs> hopefully it comes out nice. So the ingredients are just to add the ground beef into the sauce. So typically for the sauce, I usually just do salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, um, Parmesan cheese, sugar, and yeah, that's all I can think of right now. So I'm going to add this stuff in and get the mix in. So... All the seasonings are pretty much in there. It is pretty good. Y'all know I had to have the sugar in there too. So, um, broccoli I'm going to put back there. And I'm waiting for the water to boil so I can put the noodles in. So, yeah. <laughs> this is my Valentine's Day dinner. Period. So I ended up adding some more sauce because I like more sauce than I like noodle. Like this is how I like it. <laughs> so I add more I added more sauce and I just kind of reseasoned it. And the broccoli's pretty much done back there. I wish I had some like garlic, um, like garlic bread or something, but here we are.
Hi everyone, good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I'm actually up bright and early because I have to take my car to the shop to get my brakes done. Y'all, when I tell you, last week my brakes started sounding horrendous. Like, every time you press on them, it's a grinding sound. And I'm like, wow, I, would, I knew I was been supposed to get my brakes done, but like, sheesh. Like, please. It was like so bad to the point where I didn't even really want to drive it. Um, I hated that like it makes me cringe I feel like I'm messing something else up in my car like stepping on my brakes like I still had to get to work so I was still driving um, but I was really like mm -mm. so I made an appointment and um, I'm about to leave in a little bit but I was sitting here debating with myself because I wasn't sure if I wanted to sit around and wait or come all the way back home now the shop is about 25 minutes away and that's about a 30 minute uber it's approximately a 30 minute uber or a 30 dollar uber i'm sorry a 30 dollar uber so i was like maybe i should just stay around locally because that's what i did the last time i literally just sat i went to the barnes and noble the last time i had my had some work done on my car um i just went to barnes and noble and i sat there i read i did some work at the cafe i just made it a little moment you know um i sat outside it was nice it was like the summertime so i sat outside as well but um he said he'll probably he'll try to have the car done by two or three that's like six or seven hours of me sitting at at Barnes and Noble like I don't want to sit there that long um I like the idea of it you know just kind of getting some content and just chilling like getting some work done I do have some things that I need to do but it's just like I'd rather come back here and not only I'll be able to do my work but I'll also be able to create content if I want to. Like, I maybe I want to film. I don't know. I'll be able to do my little jump rope thing because I wasn't sure. If I know, I know that if I sat at the cafe, I wasn't going to do that. You know, I wasn't going to have time because I have to work later. So, I'm just going to come back home. I really don't want to spend $30, but, well, to, to and from. But it's whatever, you know. Um, I'm just going to have to suck it up. Um, but I'm not going to take my camera with me because I'm literally just dropping it off and then Ubering back home. So, um, it's about 7.15. Uh, I'm going to head out soon. It's, he said, he, he said I could drop it off a little bit before 8 because usually he gets there a little bit before 8. Um, so I'm going to head out soon and then when I pull up, I'll just call my Uber so that I won't have to be waiting there for my Uber, you know. So, that's about it. Um, I will see you guys when I get back. So, I'm back from getting, dropping my car off. Y'all, it took a good 25 minutes for them to find me an Uber. And the thing is, I started with Lyft. I was like, alright, let me try and find a Lyft. And I tried to schedule, I tried to get the Lyft before I even got to the car shop. Because I'm like, by the time I get to the car shop, maybe the Lyft can be pulling up. Girl, they couldn't find me a Lyft, so I switched over to Uber which was more expensive um but they found me a ride and I, but i still had to wait like 20 minutes you know how they be lying they be like yeah your ride is 16 minutes away no it's 25 just be honest uh <laughs> so um i added i added on an oil change and i get like the synthetic oil because it lasts longer and he was saying it's also better for Hondas. I have a Hyundai, so it's also better for Hondas. but i was already getting the synthetic oil which is more expensive girl why am i total 400 dollars about four hundred dollars for my getting my. Y'all heard that? <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, I know what I did. I took my trash. I took the trash bag out of the can, so it's probably like moved and settled. You know, <laughs> I'm like, what? What was that? Um, but yeah. So everything I got for my brakes and an oil change, I'm gonna be at about four hundred dollars. Which is very rude. I, I quite frankly, very rude. Who said I got four hundred dollars? Like, I don't know who said that. But um, I'm definitely gonna try to go more often. If you have a car, just take make sure you take care of it. Cause I was probably, I mean, regardless of whether I was taking care of it or not, it would still be this price. But um, hopefully it don't. Hopefully it don't go up or nothing. Hopefully he'll give me a call saying that I need to pay for something else. Oh gosh. Hopefully, but um. For the most part, I'm just trying to take care of my car because I do want it to last. Um, I had it for about going on two years. I got it in 2020, like the end of the year. So I want my car to last. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now I'm about to figure out what I want to eat. I know the lighting sucks over here. Um, I think I'm in the mood for some oatmeal. Hmm. No, 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 no. I lied. I lied. Um, I'm gonna say cream of wheat. 
Yeah, my trash fell over. I have to take that out later, but it fell over. That's what that sound was. But um, this week um, I do have another. I do have some work to do. Um, I have two projects I need to work on. Um, I'm trying to find a, a good spot for you guys. What's a good spot for you guys? I have my little mini tripod, the little mini holder one. So I just put it right up on the camera. Um, but yeah, I have two projects to work on. Um, I'm in the middle of creating content for a video that I want to do. It's going to be like a montage. If you guys have watched my, um, what's it called? My 10 affirmations video, it's going to be similar to that. So just a collection of a bunch of different clips just putting into one. And it's going to be a voiceover. I think it'll be kind of cute. Like I said, similar to that vibe. Um, and that's probably like one of my favorite types of videos to create. Yeah, sit downs are great. Sit downs are cool. Um, but I love like a montage type of vibe. Like when I'm giving you guys different days and it takes me like weeks to finish it. Like that's the type of videos I like. I mean, this does sound kind of like dragged out all like weeks to finish, but it only takes weeks because I'm just extra and I like to have different types of footage throughout the video, you know? So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, so I was kind of recording for that a little bit. Um, but I do, I did make a TikTok yesterday, so I was actually in the Uber, I was editing as I was going, as he was driving. Um, so I'm going to have that out for the TikTok today. I don't think I'm going to make that into a reel. I don't know yet, but, um, I'm going to make this cream of wheat and iced coffee, of course. <laughs> so I am back. My total was 410. We love that. Okay. I'm, uh, it's... it's Today is not given. I'm going to tell you all that now. Because I went to go order more lip gloss tubes from my vendor. Girl, why get bad news? They, ouch, they just told me that I now, they have a minimum now. I now have to order, if I want the white top tubes like how I have now, I would have to order 300. Like, who told y'all to make this change after I already made a purchase with y'all? Like... I don't I don't sell enough to to get 300 tubes you know what I'm saying like 300 that's a lot of tubes and it's gonna be a lot of money that I have to put out if I want to keep the same tubes the same look not the same logo but you know if I want to keep the same vendor if I want to keep the same tubes then I would have to pay that much they said that they only sell smaller quantities in other colors I don't want a pink tube I don't want pink tubes I don't want what was the other color they had I think they had um like a nude color like a brown a tan top i don't want that like i want my i want to be consistent i wanted it to be white you know so like that was really frustrating i did ask them how much it was huh, like that just annoyed me because i want to be consistent i want to be consistent for my audience i don't want to switch my tubes because honestly like sometimes learning a tube is difficult like i had to learn with those i messed up so many tubes trying to learn them because you have to remember you have to learn where to stop it as you're feeling it i think i might have explained this to you guys before but i have to learn the tube i have to learn where to stop it to make sure that the top fits into the tube without the gloss tube exploding like ugh. i'm just like not frustrated but that just kind of ruined ruined to what i was trying to do i may end up just sucking it up and getting the 300 um because at least i would have them for a period of time and then i'll be able to like save for them but it's like as a business owner you want to see your return on investment i want to make sure that i'm making that money back so i don't want it to be like <sighs> so that was just annoying so just more money for me to put out you know regular stuff um but aside from that um i'm it's two o'clock i leave for work at about at about 3 30 so i'm just gonna chill um i'm gonna eat some of that food from yesterday y'all when i say plant-based ground beef don't sleep okay i did a poll on my instagram if you're not following me on there go ahead and head on over child because i did a poll to see like if people would eat the plant-based um my leg was hurting on there but i wanted to <laughs> i did a poll to see if people would eat the plant-based um ground beef majority said yes but some people said no and i'm just like honestly it's good it's good all you have to do is really season it and you're not clogging your arteries like you don't have to worry about that ground beef like you know it's just less even if you're not planning on cutting out ground beef of your diet completely it's just one difference you know it's like switching over from white bread to wheat bread like making those small conscious decisions i i'm a fan of you know um 
I can't tell y'all when last time I had like a burger or yeah, burger. Yeah, I don't really eat burgers. I'll get some chicken nuggets though. But I don't really eat the burgers and stuff. But I don't know. I just like to make the conscious choice. And like I said, it's really just seasoning the ground beef. That's all you're doing is seasoning the sauce and the ground beef and the spaghetti is good. Like if you <laughs> the spaghetti is good. So I'm about to warm that up in a second. Um oh my gosh, I didn't show you guys the things that I got from Ulta. I did show some things that I got from Ulta in my get ready with me video. If you guys check if you guys check that video out. But I'm gonna show you guys too, just in case you didn't see the other one. And um yeah. Wait, before I get into that, oh my gosh, me and a mirror child. But anyway, before I get into that, I ordered some waist beads and it's TikTok's fault, as per usual. But I ordered them to go like around right around my waistline. I know you can have them like lower and stuff, but I ordered them to go right around my waist, which I'm excited about because as I'm jumping rope and everything every day, well every other day, as I'm jumping rope, maybe I can start to see a difference with the waist beads you know um they were kind of expensive but um support black businesses of course um of course i'm going to show you guys them when i when i get them and she was saying the benefits are just like tracking your weight loss i always I always hear about them i know it's very um traditional especially for um african culture um so i'm definitely going to read some more about them i know she says she sends uh some type of a card that comes along with it so hopefully it's a little bit of well, I'm not going to rely on this to be information on the card. But um, I know that she does say that in the card, she explains how to, like, put them on and everything. Um, so I'm excited about the waist beads. I'm excited. Because I've never worn them before. I feel like that would it would annoy me being, like, around my waist 24-7. Like, do you, any of you guys wear waist beads? Let me know if it's, like, aggravating. Maybe you kind of just get used to it after some time. You just kind of get used to them being around your waist. Um, I'm not the type to wear jewelry 24-7. Like, I always take my jewelry off at night. I don't wear my jewelry in the shower and stuff like that. Like, I feel like I don't like it to be wet around my, like, I don't know. I don't like stuff like that. <laughs> um, but I know, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to the feeling because, like I said, it might just kind of irritate me just constantly being around my waist wearing it 24-7. But I do want to wear it um, for the sake of um, tracking weight loss and seeing if the the jump rope pays off like just doing that literally every other day y'all when i talk i don't know if i explained this to you guys i couldn't do 10 minutes i couldn't do 10 minutes i couldn't breathe mm -mm. i said all right we're gonna have to work up to 15 minutes because that was what me and my friend initially talked about 15 minutes but i couldn't do the 10 child i did like maybe seven i did like seven minutes outside because it's a lot it's that h h i i t which is like that when you get to your heart pumping you're constantly moving this cardio it's your whole body, whole body workout, you know? So I was like feeling it. My heart was like this. I said, all right, that's enough. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday. Um, I am, I actually got up this morning and I just did editing. Um, I had this, the video shoot that I did in my previous vlog. I was trying to edit for that. My whole day just been delayed because last night i got stuck at work i was supposed to get off at 12 and i didn't get home until like three uh, because there was a call out and it's just annoying it's annoying it's annoying you already know you already know like i hate my job but anyway you know um i am sitting here and i'm about to head out in a little bit i do want to go i do need to go to target i need some more toner i need more um face wash i use the pan oxal face wash and then i use the pixie toner so i like to get it from target i used to get it from amazon but here we are um what else i do have to show you guys what i got from ulta as well but in the meantime let me get out of here because it's already like 1 30 and i was supposed to have left already but my whole day has been just delayed because i slept in because i got in i got in late so i slept in basically so i'm gonna head out in a little bit grab my phone and let's go so um remember this bag of clothes y'all <laughs> this is from vlogmas y'all it first of all i was sitting in my house for a long time and then i finally brought it out to put in my car and i still didn't take it to goodwill but i happened to stop here and there's a, there's a clothing drop box so i'm just gonna take that and put it in the clothing drop box and then be on my way
Friday. It is another shooting day with my dad. We actually decided to come to this place called Wonder Spaces. It's in Philly. I've, I had a vlog with me going here before. I'm not sure if it's up still, but I'm waiting for him. I'm just waiting inside here. Our reservation was at 12, because um, they had some really like nice walls and stuff like that. Now, granted, it's 12.06. But we're gonna try to act like we're here for the actual show, but we're really here to just take his content. So hopefully he'll be walking up soon. I'm just wearing like my little black coat and my little Chelsea like boots. Um, but he should be here any moment now. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to really vlog on my camera too much, but um, I'm definitely gonna get my phone footage. So I'll see you guys in a little bit and then um, go from there. Say hi to the, to the vlog. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Ready, three, two, go ahead. All right, so did you want me to move with you? What was your vision for that? Did you want me to move, or you said just walking past. Want me to move up some? I feel like you look kind of far. Yeah, you can move up some. All right, this is what it was kind of like. All right, ready? Three, two. Okay. <laughs> okay, so on this wall, you can write a note, and in each one is like a note. I w should I pull out one and read y'all somebody's note? Let me see. <laughs> oh, this one's a long one. Oh my gosh. Dear Shweta, I wish I could tear the government down and make it so you didn't have to be deported. It's not fair. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. It's not fair, you're the sweetest person I know and I want to thank you for all of the times you were there for me as a kid. You walked me home, taught me, Dad, Dad, I'm reading something. I'm sorry. You walked me home, you taught me how to cook, you let me be uh, alone. I can't even read that, I'm sorry. You let me be something which always meant the world to me. When my parents weren't there for me, you stepped in. When my parents kicked me out when I was 15, you let me stay with you. Thank you so much for being such an amazing friend and I wish I could hug you one last time. Oh my God. Y'all, I put out the worst one. Like that was, that was very, wow. Oh my gosh. But anyway, all of these are notes that people write to people and I love that a lot. I can't put it back in, hold on. I'm on the fourth floor. Oh wow, we only own two. Damn. Alright. Hey guys, I'm sitting here working on my media kit. It is Friday, I think. I struggled so bad with this. Like, really just to lay out. Like I couldn't figure out how I wanted everything to look. Um, but basically just the rate right card, services, demographics, analytics about me, and then just pictures, I guess. So I don't know, let's see how this does. Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, or what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? It's Saturday. Sorry, I keep moving you guys. Um, I did just get my she and stuff. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram to see which which you guys preferred. Like, did you guys would you guys rather me do like a collective haul? Sorry, oh my god. Just have to keep moving this thing. But anyway, I was like, okay, should I do like a collective haul with um, like a dedicated YouTube video, basically with a couple things that I purchased as of late. Um, I did get something from Manure Devoir, uh, which is just this dress that I bought that was like, well, I bought a dress and a pair of biker shorts. So I was like, well, should I do a collective haul or should I just integrate it into my vlog? Like just show you guys in the vlog what I got. 
Um, but I got more votes for having a dedicated like collective type of haul. So it'll be kind of like a mini one because I don't have a whole, whole lot of things. But I do want to try on everything for the camera. I do have some stuff from Shein. Um, I'm going to include the stuff that I got from Zara because I never showed you guys them on. That little green two-piece set. Um, and then I'm going to put on the stuff that I got from Mini or Devoir. So um, I'm going to make that a separate video. But in the meantime, I got two things to show you guys. So remember I said I supported the black-owned business? Um, I think I told you guys that in this vlog. But it's, this, it's Sweet Rose Bakery. Um, black owned like I said and she was doing these little cake jars for Valentine's Day so it was like three for 20 and I got she either had um, red velvet or vanilla so I just got like vanilla and I'm looking forward to eating them they look really good and moist like I'm really looking forward to <laughs> to trying them um, and she has like a little card that came in the bag it's just like a thank you note um, uh, da, da, da. The best, okay, so basically she just gives um, the best way to travel with your cakes um, and serving and storing. So she basically, it's in cursive, y'all, that's why I'm taking so long to read it. But <laughs> serving and storing um, and then just like her business information. I'm going to include her business page on the screen. I always go like this, but really I put it right here. It's Sweet Rose Bakery. Um, her name is Michelle. She's really sweet. She was working with me too because I was supposed to go and get the cakes um, before I went to work, right? But then my job switched my schedule. Well, he didn't switch. He asked me to switch it, right? Now, mind you, it's voluntary, you know? Um, so I guess the the switch was my fault, essentially. My original schedule was to come in at three, but he asked me if I can come in at eight and get off at four. Like, So I was like, you know what? I'd rather work the earlier shift than to work 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I just switched it and I worked the earlier shift. So um, it interfered with me picking up the cakes from her because I was supposed to pick them up between 1 and 3. So I was going to be at work at that time now. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hate to have to be like an inconvenience. Like I, I hate to feel like uh, I'm being like an issue, you know, like I'm so sorry. I got to switch the time. Or like, is there anything, anything else that we can do? Oh, they're so cute. Y'all, it's 8 in the morning. Don't ask me why I'm about to eat this cake. I just want to taste it. Mm. Oh, it smells nice. Hey girl, I'm actually gonna um I'm gonna post this on my Instagram as well because oh mm, okay. I'm not gonna eat it just yet. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna post it first. Maybe I should make a reel out of it. Should I make a reel out of it? And just like show the camera because you guys that looks really good. Like wait, if it'll focus, that'll be great. But I should make a reel out of it just to kind of of course create some content for myself, but also just to support her and um, maybe people maybe people will see what she has to offer like you know what let me book her for this she actually makes like real like actual big cakes this bird <laughs> this bird just did the most um but yeah she actually makes like big cakes and stuff and she does like events and I know she has like a Mother's Day cake that she's a that she does that's really nice so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually post it and everything and um, give her give her her credit in that way. So that's the first thing that I had to show you guys. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is everything that I got from Sephora or Ulta, I should say. Remember, I was saying I was going to show you guys, and I never did. I'm going. I'm going to get to it. We gonna get to it. Um. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, I actually have it here in my bag, which is why I'm just going to show you guys since I'm right here. But it was. It's very popular all over TikTok. It's just chat hand sanitizer. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it by now. But it's just a touch lend. Um, these are all the things that I got from Ulta. And I really like this one because it's just a little. <laughs> That's it. And I don't know. I really like the design of it. You know, nowadays everything is about design. It's about aesthetics. It's about. I look. My, my lips look dry. I'm sorry. Ew. <laughs> my lips just look so dry. <laughs> But anyway, everything is about aesthetics. And then the functionality of this is really cool. Like, you know, you just press down on this back one and you give it a little spray. You don't have to put a top back on. You just throw it back in your bag. It's locked. You don't got to worry about it spilling. Like, I really like the design of it. Um, I know that Touchland has been, I think they've been, what do you call it? They've been sending influencer stuff out. I think that they work with small content creators um, throughout TikTok. I just ended up purchasing it because it was just like... Um, and I didn't reach out to them myself. Oh, I'm gonna say is my house dirty. <laughs> I didn't reach out that I didn't reach out to them myself. So, um, hold on. Wait, my other stuff is actually my other stuff is actually in here. 
Um, so the rest of my stuff that I got some from Ulta is mainly just like makeup based. Sorry. Um, this top is like really compressive, so I'm sorry my boobs are like all out. So the next thing I got was just this Elf um, palette. I showed you guys some of these things in my Get Ready With Me video, um, but I never showed my actual vlog. This is crooked. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is crazy. This is crazy. That's one thing about these little tripods. You gotta like fix it yourself. It's not like it's just straight, you know, but anyway. Um, I showed you guys this in my Get Ready With Me. I did like this one. Kyra Amuni recommended this one because she was saying this pink blush down here is similar to the Dior one. Um, I can see it on my skin. I was saying to myself that everyone know Kyra I'm Unique is light skin. So I was like, well, how is this going to show up on my skin um, in comparison to on hers? But it looks pretty nice. You can still see that I have like a, you can still see the rosy look uh, when I apply it. So I was happy about that purchase. Um, if you guys have me on TikTok, you probably saw everything that I bought already. But um, what else? What else? What else? I don't think it's anything else in here. I think everything else is in here. Um, so that's that, that's that palette. Um, I picked up this e.l.f. primer, which I really like. Um, I did do this thing on Instagram where I was asking my followers, like, for suggestions for how to get your face, how to prevent your face from being, like, oily. I have, like, an oily T-zone, so when I do my makeup, sometimes I have to, like, wipe at my nose because my nose will look kind of, like, greasy. Or, like, my forehead will be kind of, like, greasy. So I was asking, like, what's the best way to do, um, to kind of conceal that. And some people recommended, like, a matte primer, which is, which is how I came on this. And then people recommended I just, like, set my nose. So I've been doing, like, both of them. I use this, which I actually really love. The consistency on this is really good. Like, when I put it on, I was saying in my Get Ready With Me that it reminds me of the Super Goop consistency. It's, like, that really smooth, like, it just glides onto my face. Like, I love that primer. Elf, Elf be slept on because it's cheap. That's what it is. Elf is very inexpensive, so I think people be like, well, it's not, mm, is it really good? Da, da, da. No, that's good primer. Um, then I got the e.l.f. concealer and I decided to go for a lighter color just because I wanted to try the lighter eye, the lighter under eye look. This is in the color Deep Olive, but I wanted to try a slightly lighter under eye. Um, so I picked up this one. The one that I typically use is the NARS and Amand. So I was thinking like maybe I can mix them like so it won't be too light. So I'll put like, I'll put the e.l.f. one here, the lighter one like right here. And then I use the Amand and I put the Amand like over here. So then I just kind of like blend them out so that it doesn't look too light. So that's like my thought on that. But I've been had this one. This is the only one that I just bought. So this one will be down below. And I bought the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Which was also recommended to me by a girl on Instagram that really does makeup and stuff. So I was like alright I'm going to take her advice because she does makeup. Um, this is in the color Sienna. The only thing about NYX is that like they... It was so many colors to choose from. They have like mahogany, which is similar to this one. So it's kind of hard to find my color. Like I feel like I struggle with finding my shade. Um, so like that was like annoying. But I just went with this one, and I actually do like the coverage of it. I felt like it can be kind of like dark. Like sometimes I feel like it look it does look a little dark. I think depending on the lighting. So, but I don't want to go too much lighter than this. Like it's pretty much my complexion, but. I don't know um i'm still figuring out like the undertones and stuff like people people say like sometimes it depends on your undertone whether you should have like a cooler shade or like a warmer shade i don't know the difference yet so we still learning that type of stuff um i'm trying to think what else did i get i know i got something else oh i got the gucci flora this is also what i got too y'all when i tell you this smells <laughs> i bought this for my grandma and she really liked it and um i don't know if you guys remember that vlog where she came over and we were like smelling all my perfumes oh this smells it's beautiful it smells absolutely beautiful like i love this i really should have got the bigger one i wish i got the bigger one but this one's just like a roll on so i'll just add this as like a little touch do 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 it lasts pretty long too like i'll still smell it on myself over time so I really love the Gucci Flora. If you can get your hands on this, this is a beautiful um, spring scent. You know, that floral, but it's very pretty. Like, it doesn't smell like grass and, like, roses or something. Like, it actually smells really pretty. Um, you know how sometimes roses smell, like, flower, like, flowery? It doesn't give that vibe, you know? Okay, I'm trying to see what else I bought. 
I did get this Morphe pen, this Morphe, um, it's an eyeshadow type of pen. I don't know if you guys are going to really be able to, is it going to pick it up? Oh, okay. This is a micro brow pencil, which I honestly, I bought with the intention of using as an eye, a lip liner. I was like, maybe I'll just get something brown to line my lips with, but this, it's like, y'all see how tiny this is? Like, I was never going to be able to line my lips with that. It doesn't even show up on my lips. So, it was just a, this is kind of like a fail buy. It was only a couple dollars, this little Morphe thing. It might have been, I, I, it was nothing, basically. So, I didn't really care too much about the, about the mistake of buying it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'm missing. Mainly, it was, ma it was mainly makeup stuff that I ha didn't have. Um, I didn't buy a brush. I was going to buy a brush because I always hear about Morphe brushes. So I was gonna buy a brush, but then I didn't. The brushes I the brushes I have right now are BH Cosmetics, pretty much these BH ones. But anyway, um, that's pretty much what I got. If I can think of, if I missed anything, I'll just include it once I remember. But that's pretty much the basis of what I got. Um, I'll of course have those Ulta products linked below. Um, and yeah, so I do have to. I did a double, so I got off work at seven. It's literally eight in the morning. So that's why I was like, well, I'm about to eat cake at 8 in the morning. But um, that was that. I do go back to work at 3. So I'm going to make this real. I did do my media kit I showed you guys yesterday. So I was like, all right, well, I can make a, a um, I'm going to make a reel out of the media kit idea. Because I'm like, well, that will get my, my reel of the day out of the way. And also just show other people how to do it. Because I feel like I was struggling a little bit with my media kit. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't figure out my color not my colors I couldn't figure out what pictures to post that was the hard part because you want the pictures to be y'all I'm sorry just put it right here Morgan I'm like goodness gracious but you want your pictures to be like inviting you want them to be pretty you want them to be like welcoming smiling like you know for your media kit that these are the pictures that represent your face before the brand is even going to click on your profile they're gonna look at your, your kit if you send your media kit they're gonna this is the first thing that they're gonna see so um i was i was really struggling with figuring out a good picture and i think a part of that is because i don't have a whole lot of pictures of me just smiling regular like a lot of my pictures are like giving face it's just like boom 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 i don't have a whole lot of like boom of <laughs> me like smiling and um i was like okay well should i incorporate my outfits because i i do kind of at this point in my life or at this point in my content creation path i do kind of consider myself to i'm moving a little bit into fashion just a little bit like when i when i'm taking pictures i now really think about my outfit and what is going to look best on my page um what can be a look like what's going to look cute i do pay attention to that now so i'm like well should i include like a, a picture of me dressed like in a nice outfit um so i was just struggling with my pictures i was struggling with the layout i'm like well how should it look should i put the about me here should i put the demographics on this page should i Ugh, i was all over the place um ty actually did help me she did send me over her media kit because i put in my close friends like i'm struggling <laughs> with this stupid media kit um so i did look at hers and stuff so i was like really cool and i was like um taking some tips because i'm like well what should i say what should i really use what what should I really talk about to describe myself? What should I include? So I made sure that I included that I was black. I thought that was important. I made sure I included where I'm from, my age. Um, of course, like, you get into what type of content you do. I do, like, mainly lifestyle, fashion type of stuff. So I was basically just doing that. I'm going to make a reel out of that content today. Um, and hopefully, it's, hopefully it does pretty well, you know. I find that those, like helpful content creation type of videos do the best for me at least because people are all trying to do that same thing everyone needs tips everyone wants tips everyone wants help i um, trying to achieve those same things so if i can help we gonna do that so i'm gonna fix these so that they're actually all evened out and i want it to be stop motion oh this is gonna be so cute oh focus on me baby can you focus on me I'm, I'm gonna just put you guys here so you guys can kind of oh my god i'm so close so you guys can kind of see how i do it so stop motion here we come all right so with stop motion i like to do like i'll start the video wait like two seconds let the video play for two seconds and then i'll move something let the video do the two second thing then i move something 
wait another two seconds the key of course is to keep the camera in the same spot you don't ever want to move it and when you're editing it'll just look like it's all just moving you know when, you, when I go to edit it usually also what I do is I'll stop the camera between each footage so that I don't have just one long video I like to stop it but really that's for my own preference because as I'm editing it it just makes it a little bit easier rather than going through one long video I just have it, each individual is already dedicated to each moment you know so what else do I want to do what else do I want to do or I guess it's not much stop motion that I can do wait 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 I just had a different idea so maybe I should start them off right here and have them moving across the have this y'all gonna see <laughs> but basically I'm gonna have the the cakes just moving across the platform so let me start and then what I do is move them a tad bit like this. Stop it. <laughs> move them a tad bit again. Stop. And then I just continue the process like so. And then I like to do this from above because then you can like really see. See that doesn't even look right. So then you can like really see the movement if the camera is up here. Um, but it's cool. We're going to make it do what it is. They won't get the point. So now that my content stuff is done, I did uh, do like the Shein TikTok. I'm going to do a YouTube video for it differently. Well, of course differently, but I'm going to film separate footage basically. I'm going to film separate footage for... Well, the footage that I use for my YouTube, I'm going to use for Instagram. So the one on Instagram isn't going to go up to like the... Sometime during the week. But the one on TikTok, I'll probably... Well, maybe I should post them around the same time. I don't know what the what the um, order will be, but I do have about three reels that are like in the cut. Like I have content waiting for me um, to be po to post it. Um, I am gonna do my jump rope, which I don't feel like doing, but I think that it's just a practice and keeping the little promises that I make some, that I make to myself. Um, I haven't been doing them since the last time I did them, but um, just go ahead and do them. My hair is already dirty. That's what I hate about goddess socks too because they get dirty like at the root. So maybe if I put some oil on it or something. But anyway, um, I'm going to go out now. I don't record on this SD card. I record my jumping jacks on my other SD card because I want it to be a part of this other video that I'm doing. So I'm going to switch over my SD card. And the next time you guys will see me, I'm not sure when it will be. But I'll check it back. I'll check back in.